Well, 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 hello and welcome back to another fantastic Honktastic stream. Now tonight, I am playing something a little different, a little something that I've been eyeing for a, quite a while, because this game is not new. It's Kerbal Space Program. Now this game has been out, I think, since, what, 2015? 20, 20, before that, maybe? It's, a, it, it's more of a sandbox game where you're building a spaceship, and you're trying to get your little guys... To uh, to the moon, I think, is where you start. Maybe you can go other places in the solar system. But even getting off the ground is going to be a challenge of its own. So let's go ahead and launch that game up real quick. And I'm going to make sure that you guys can see what it is I see. Now, also, yeah, recently I've uh, just started, what do you call it, packing. Now, it's, it's stuff's packed. I just have to get it to the right areas and pack, I guess, more stuff. Because there's always more to pack, isn't there? Because next week, I will be moving to my new apartment. So, that is going to be a, a fun time, if I do say so myself. And this has to go full screen at some point. Monkey. No, you! Look, it's Tim right there. Oh my god, it's got the same hairstyle and everything. Oh my god, the, the, the wonderful expression on his face. You know, the packs of, I think, ramen next to him. You know, video game controller. It's just... It's just Tim. Just just having a good time on the couch. Alright, what is this? Tenth anniversary, ten years! Wow. 2010, 2011? Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close out all that and make this full screen. Let's see. Let's see here. Increase that resolution. Go boom. Uh, apply. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice. Close all that. All right. So, never played this before. Don't know what the hell I'm doing. Mo moon or bus? They spell moon with an umlau. Um, resume saved. Do I? There's nothing in there. Okay. Start game. Start new. All right. Training. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna train. Oh, jeez. Career? Uh, let's start with a little bit of sandbox, I guess. No? Career? Science? Uh, just try it. Fuck it. Why not? Let's give it a shot. See what, we'll see what happens. What could go wrong? Gene Kerman, flight director and your guide for this quick introduction. You manage all aspects of the space program. Feel free to have a look around. Hold the right mouse button to move the camera or use the arrow keys. Right click over the space center to do more about them. And left, left click when you're ready to head inside. I guess we're going inside. Seems a lot more in depth than I thought. Let's go assembly building where the build where we build spacecraft and later roll them out to the launch pad for flight. Left, you'll find components. Seems pretty standard. You know what? No, hold on. We're gonna go back to the main menu. Let's let's just do sandbox to start off with. We gotta figure out how how to get a, a thing off the ground first before we start a career. So start a new sandbox. Let's get all the parts from the start. We're gonna just give it a shot. What do you say? What do you say? Let's see how it works. All right. Yep. Right click, enter. All right. This seems exactly the same, except they have more parts. That seems kind of nice. All right. Cool. All right. So, uh, I guess let's start with some stuff. So we obviously need some sort of pod. And if we want to be able to get into space, we're probably going to want less mass. So less mass. Um, some fuel tanks. Oh god, alright, alright. So we're gonna need definitely enough fuel. Oh god, alright. That's a lot of mass. Oh boy. Oh god, what, am I, what have I gotten myself into? A fuel tank. Alright, uh... All right, so that's one fuel tank. We're probably gonna get another secondary fuel tank. With, oh, that's way too big. Also very big. There we go, that seems more 
reasonable. Can I can I move this somehow? I mean, arrow keys allow me to move. Can I like ah? There we go. Scroll wheel. It makes me go down. All right. So engines. Okay. Okay. So engines. Oh my God. All right. So this liquid fuel engine. That's tiny as hell. All right. So that that that's fine. Let's try something bigger. What do you say? Bigger still. What do we got? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that'll work just fine. Now what we also might want to do is get uh, little engines on the sides, like maybe some of these near the top. Can we do that? I don't know if we could do that. Is those even? Ah, eh, they're even enough. I don't know how this works at all. All right, so hopefully. Oh god! All right, thrusters block, huh? Oh god! All right, all right. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Some sort of module. What the hell is? What the hell is even that? So I obviously we're gonna need some sort of thrusters here. Oh nope, not over there. How's that gonna make any sense? Can I zoom in? There's probably a way to zoom in. Oh yeah, look at that. Gotta use the the middle mouse button and then just get nice close and personal. Okay. So this module has to okay, it's all one piece now, isn't it? Oh god. Oh god. All right. So this this has to somehow right click, click and drag, right click and drag. All right. So this thruster module hopefully will allow them to do something. All right. Hopefully we can actually rotate and command things. Uh Oh god. All right. Structural. Structural. That seems pretty important, right? Can I zoom back out? Eh. Eh. All right. Do we need wheels? I don't think we need wheels, right? Oh, boy. Okay. That, I don't know. Oh, I need coupling between, don't I? Be cautious when armed. Why do I want something that's dangerous like that? How do I detach things? Can I, like, left click? Okay, all right, so we need couplers. Or decouplers, I should say. Okay, all right, let's see, what is this? That's too big. How about you? Nope, nope. Let's go based on size right now. Always a smart idea, huh? Okay, so that's gonna go then right there. This, however, then is going to come off, and then we're going to add another coupler, or decoupler, right in there. Now we need those because if we plan to disengage anything, actually, hold on, Ooh. let's move you off a little closer. We need some sort of thruster in there, don't we? Don't we? I don't know. I think we need some sort of some sort of thing in the control where we're going with that. You know, what? no, we'll worry about. It. We'll just do a little bit of trial and error. All right, okay. Payload, huh? Probably gonna hold off on the payload. We're gonna try, try to get to the get to the moon first, I guess. Aerodynamics. Oh, of course you need some wings. All right, how big is this? Oh, that's pretty sturdy. A little, little too big, probably, though, honestly. Also very big. Oh, God. Okay, all done here. What is this? Air brakes, huh? That seems potentially useful. Our little thing has a cone already, so I'm not going to worry about that. I need 
need something that's longer. Oh, that's way too long. A winglet. I guess I can go up towards the front more. That's gonna tear it apart. Whatever. We'll try it out. Let's see, how's it looking? Okay, okay, not terrible, not terrible. Let's get something a little bit bigger down here then, huh? That's way too big. Way too big, wow! Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh my, look at the size of this lad right here. That, that's not gonna work. <laughs> A tail fin? That's supposed to be a tail fin? Oh, there are a lot of things here. Okay, okay. A wing connector? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. We're going we're gonna we're gonna stick with what we got. We're gonna stay small. Yeah, alright. Alright, do we need wings? Is this is this taking off or sorry, do we need yep, we need we need wheels, don't we? We definitely need wheels. <laughs> Landing strut. Huh. Oh boy. Okay. We need wheels. This is not going to go very well, is it? It's for rovers. That's for landing. We just did the three-piece landing gear, huh? What if we did, what if, oh, that is totally off-center. Oh my god. Okay, how about the tip of that one right there? And then that gets a little bit higher here. Better. Too high. That's close enough, I think. I think. Thermal heat shield, huh? Well, that's only gonna really help if we're coming back, I think, right? That's that's not gonna matter too much. Probably use some panels on here. Is that going the tip? No, that's that's we don't want we don't want to do that. And we're not gonna put any of that on there. Electrical, huh? What does this do? Large source of reliable power. Reheating snacks? I don't know if I like that. Chargeable battery bank. Oh, jeez. Okay, communications. Definitely going to be helpful, right? How are they going to talk with us if they don't have sort of any communications whatsoever? Okay, science. What is, what is that about? Oh, boy. Oh, God. Experiments kit, huh? Fuel cylinders? Oh, okay, so this is for, like, for, like, stuff that they can have inside, huh? Yeah, this is for their inside. All right, so utility, then. Okay, so I think I need more wheels. That would be helpful, huh? Um, hmm. Okay, how about one of these? Can I rotate? Is there a way to rotate? Do I have everything on backwards? Oh, God. Okay, alright, hold on here. Okay, alright, that's good for one. How the hell do I rotate? What do these buttons do? Oh, okay, so these are the different things. So I can... Hold on, why would it look like this? Nothing. Okay, how about... Ah, is there a way to... Rotate. Middle mouse button, maybe? No. No. 
Because that is not going to work unless I can rotate this. Place. Ah, rotate. 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 Why? Why won't this rotate? Okay. Select like the part to rotate. There we go. Raced on a cracker. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So I guess now it's going to place. It's a little, a little too high. All right, so let's give it a shot, huh? What do you say? What do you say? How do we try this out? Oh, actions, huh? What is that about? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, why did I pick this? Oh, this is a lot harder. I should have done some practice or something off the stream first. Crew? Do I have to, do I have to click these things? Parts with crew capacity. Can, oh, that only one person can fit. All right, that's fine. No room for cargo, I don't think, except for where he's got on him. Oh, okay. There's a little. There's a little room for cargo. You know, no, we're not going to do any cargo here. Oh, okay. What did I do here? Okay, that's fine. Uh, da -da -da. all right. Let's 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 launch. Yeah, that's what I want to click, huh? Should I have saved first? I should have saved first. That should have been something I did. All right. Stage one. Uh, launch. <laughs> um, how do I tell it to do the thing? How do I tell it to do the thing? I gotta tell it to do a thing, don't I? Um, maneuver mode. Oh. Did, did it work? Is this is it functioning? Can we make it go faster? How about this one? I'm confused. Did I not do this properly? <laughs> <laughs> Um, hmm. So can I activate this, these small engines instead? Cause I, how do I? Okay, right click. We're not even taking off, are we? Are we that heavy? All right, all right, back to the drawing board. Back to the drawing board here. How do we... Let's see, uh, space tracking, space center? Maybe I should have done the training. Oh, God. Did, did it save it? Okay, okay, all right, so let's get rid of some weight here. Let's, let's get rid of some things we don't need. Like, let's just get rid of some weight. Get rid of that. Now we, need, we know we don't need wheels now. So we're just going to get rid of those. These boys ain't coming home. Alright, so that should have limited the weight by uh, quite, a, quite a bit. 
Launch. Clear the launch pad. All right, let's try again. Let's try again. Now, hopefully, we'll have enough thrust to get off the uh, off the ground. All right. Activate engines. I see. Uh, hmm. Back to the space center. I appear to be missing some very important elements. Maybe we just need a larger engine. Is that what, that's what it's used for, right? So we have the fuel tanks, no problem. We need an engine. Let's just get rid of this engine entirely. Let's go for a big, bigger engine. All right, so what's the thrust available on this? 162, 197, 1,000. Okay, this is the kind of thrust I want. What do you say? All right, let's give that a shot, shall we? So this, I, I am hoping that, I just need to figure out how to get off the ground first. That's that's what I want to figure out what to do. We're going to go piece by piece. We're getting off the ground. Uh... Zero thrust. So I've got to be doing something wrong. Ha, huh, cuz it's not even moving. Let's see. Oh my god, there's lots of physics here, isn't there? Oh god, I'm going to have to do the I'm going to have to do the training. I have to do the training. I don't know what the hell I'm doing right now. Training. All right, it's getting started. Let's figure it out. What do we need? I usually try to be mindless when I go about these things, but not very uh, intuitive. All right. Uh, whether you want to put a satellite in orbit, make a transcontinental flight, or step onto the very surface of the moon, you're going to need to build yourself a ship. Uh, show me how to go around the space center. How to construct a simple ship. We'll cover adding and removing parts with the parts do, how to change the performance settings. That's the craft fit for a quick hop from the launch pad. All right. Okay, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You can hover your mouse over them. Oh, the facilities. All right, let's go here. This is what I need to figure out how to do. All right, all right. Different parts, different categories. We need a command module. Ah! Command pod. You can look around with the following controls. Alright. <laughs> I'll have to return safely. Parachutes are a simple way to make sure that happens. They can be found in the utility tab. Okay, okay. M16 parachute from which tab? Utility tab. Nice. Okay, okay, I get it. They're pulling the whole thing back. Alright, when you've chosen parts, you can view the details by hovering over them. Let's see. Some parts, like a parachute here, have configurable options. I see what we need to right click on the parachute. You see the pod. Do that now and you'll see the available parameters. Oh, okay, I can't really... Okay, minimum pressure. For that, now let's check the opening height on the chute is at least 1,000 meters. Okay, okay, that's that it is. To the right, 0.2. What will that do? This setting prevents the chute from activating until the atmospheric pressure is above the configured value. On Kerbin, 0 0.2 is about 9 kilometers in altitude. So even if you stage 
early and arm the parachute, it will wait until then to activate. I don't know what that means. Oh god. You can hide these options by right clicking on the background scene or by picking up another part. We're gonna need something to make us go. Click on the engines tab. Select the solid rocket motors. Wow, that is a well, that's a big solid rocket motor. Not a famous rocket scientist. The problem with the craft is that the solid rocket is too powerful for the payload. It'll either burn up on ascent from going too fast or burn up ba from coming back down. Wow. All right, all right, okay. Well, at least I, I, at least this way I get to tell you about removing parts. Pick up the back thumper and either drop it over the parts toolbox or press delete. Solid motor. That's a better match for a ship this size. Nice. Pick up the flea and connect it. Is this the flea? Yes. Put the simplest survivable craft possible. Wow, okay, that's all you needed to do, huh? In the bottom right, you'll see the staging stack. It's the box with the number zero. And icons are the parachute and engine in it. The stack shows us which parts will be activated as we stage our rocket. What this shows is what when we activate the next stage, both the engine and the parachute will be triggered. While it can be considered funny to open the chute and fire the motor at the same time, it's not going to give you much of a flight. To fix this, we need to separate the engine and chute into two stages. If you mouse over the zero stage, you'll see a little plus and minus appear to the left of the box. Uh, click the plus button to add a new stage. Okay. If you add too many, click the minus button on the extra ones to remove them. Make sure you have precisely two stages there. Or does it just mean... Okay, it means 0 and 1 to be 2. It's important to note that the stages activate from the highest number and then count down. So our first stage will be stage 1. Wow, okay. Okay, stage 0 will be the shoot. Now drag the engine from... Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Alright. That's it. We now have a safe, well, relatively safe craft that's ready to go. Click on the save icon in the top right. I just did, didn't I? Save. Save. Didn't did it not? Oh, is that does that mean it's saving? I I don't understand. That that should have saved. Oh, when you're happy with the name. Oh, you can change the. I gotcha. The initial honk. There. Now we save. Next. I gotcha. <laughs> Feel free to play around with the controls, parts, techniques, and when you're ready to continue, press the red button and then up, upper right to exit. The flight basics tutorial. I want to fly it now. Let me fly. Let me be free. All right. All right. Looks like we're going through this tutorial by tutorial. Oh, Jesus. All right. Let's give it a shot. The USS. Well, we're not going to. This isn't the USS Honker yet. We're going to get there. All right. Okay. Next. Flying a spacecraft is all about control. Yeah. Pitch. Yaw. And roll. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. SW is pitch. AD. Oh man, QE. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. That's just W. That's just Waz controls. The play spaces to launch. Activate the next stage. Okay. Velocity where it's going. These aren't always the same direction. Okay. 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 I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh -huh. Launch. Hit space when you're ready to launch. Launch! Launch. That works too. And now that's the kind of power we want to see.
right, the first launch. All right, so we didn't even leave the atmosphere, which I don't think we were expecting to. We're what, 15,000 meters? And climbing, oh, maybe we, we, maybe we are leaving the atmosphere. Oh boy, I don't think this guy's coming back. You can all also see whether your crew are enjoying the trip in the lower right corner. Okay, okay. Is there a speed option to pick up the speed on this? Because this is, oh, okay, what's this? Yes, alarm clock, no. Can I move this guy? I can, I can. Messages, resources, okay. Oh, your submarine is burned out. You're passing it up. Oh, okay, deploy the chute. Deploy the chute. Throw it down enough for it to deploy safely. It'll do automatically. Okay. Um, the parachute is, for some reason, the, the thing is pointing downward, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me. So that the parachute is armed, but I feel like it's falling the wrong way. Uh oh, I'm quickly descending now. This reminds me of Spore quite a quite a bit, actually. All right, ten thousand meters. Uh, Nine thousand meters. Why, why didn't the, why didn't the chute deploy? Oh God, he's picking up so much speed. I don't think it's gonna deploy. He's gonna die. Yeah, he's gonna die. Don't feel bad. I'll send someone to clean that up, and you can try again. What happened? Why did it? Why couldn't I deploy the parachutes as he instructed? Uh, it's revert flight. I'm confused here because like this is the tutorial. Actually, no. All right, what we're gonna do. All right, I think. End scenario. All right. So now we have a very, very, very basic idea because we weren't doing it in stages. Uh, start new sandbox. Yeah, 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 yeah. We also didn't have like anything to bring them back safely. And the stages go in reverse. All right, so now let's see if we have any idea, any idea whatsoever. All right, so what we need, what are these, are the pods? We need a command pod. So we're gonna use a basic command pod. So that's for three, we're only gonna stick with one. How much does this weigh though? Does it, does it matter? Mach three? Now we're going to choose the this one here. Yeah, all right. So, and what can we do on this? How do we get a How do we get a parachute? Oh yeah. Only 50% of the structural integrity. Found lying on the side of the road. Yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Oh, they're all found on the side of the road, huh? A lot of mass on these things though. So let's get a little parachute. That's a little small. Something a little bigger. Maybe that's what that's about. Yep, that looks like that's what that's about. Is that any bigger? It's about the same. All right, all right. Now, we need some fuel, huh? Not so much fuel that we can't take off. Oh, oh god. Fuel tanks, come on, come on. Too small. Too small. Getting closer. Too big. No. Oh, the external tanks. That'll be that'll come in handy. Oh, that's a pretty good size there. Now we don't need to go overboard with these, I don't think. Engines, how big is that? Not big enough. Oh, 
Okay, get some of these bad boys. That's way too big. Are these external canisters? Yeah, they're super tiny. All right, um, no, no. Okay, all right. So what we need, I guess, now is stages. So let's add a stage. Rocket goes, oh, come on. Rocket goes for a stage. All right, so it goes down. All right, so let's just give that, it's a very basic one, basically trying to use the skills that we learned in the tutorial to try to fly at least upwards a bit. We have three crewmen, God save their souls, and go ahead and activate the engine. Hmm. Stage one. That's so weird. Is it just not? Ha it just doesn't have enough thrust. I'm so confused. All right, so we're gonna go back to the space center again. I guess I'm just gonna go really friggin' big. There's like nothing on this. We have a fuel tank. have a com control module right that's what that is right a control module command pod it's holding tank of fuel no that's gonna do anything for me big engine that's a bad idea all right let's let's get rid of this what's the biggest engine we can get our hands on right now all right, we're gonna try that because I don't know why we're not able to take off, and I want us to be able to take off on our own, on our own. Oh, they're in the same stages. Uh, hold on. Plus a stage. Click and drag. All right, stage one. Huh. I I don't understand. Maybe I have to change some things on the engine. Like do I have to like change like it's a thrust amount? It seems odd. As soon as we can figure out how to take off here. Limit threat, uh, thrust limiter. I don't want any limit to thrust. Maybe that's what's going on. That, no pressure. We're gonna go up to point two because that's what they told us to do before. Good fuel, oxidizer. Oh, there's just different color variants. Not a big problem. I don't know what a gimbal limit is. What the hell is a gimbal? All right, so this is gonna go into a separate stage. All right, maybe that's what was going on. Maybe what was happening is we were locked to a certain thrust, so we had like 100% limit to the thrust. Yay! Oh my god, that scared me, actually. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Space Emperor Carl. Okay, uh, too much weight, maybe? Is there a way to go straight to the... Space Center? Probably not. Oh, man. Why can I not take off? Just got back from Lloyd's. Tuck your motorcycle, huh? Sounds like a fun time. Sounds like a good old fun time. Maybe I need something smaller. Let's try the original module that they tried to give us. Original piece. I just need the one piece. I need the command pod. The pog hog. Have you tried saying it to Wumbo? Oh, good, 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 good. 
good question. How about I just take these away from the pot? There we go. Now let's try the original pot that they had us try, which I think was this pod. Or attach it. Oh, we already have one out there now. Get rid of that as well. Let's go back to utility. Where's utility? There's utility. We're gonna go with the original MK16 parachute. And then everything else, absolutely fucking massive. Then again, I feel like this... Alright, hold on. Alright, we're gonna do exactly the same thing that they had us do. Just for your own safety, be sure to consult a fully certified bombologist. You might have a point. I need a very simple, simple engine. That's too small. Yeah. Zoom in. Too big. Too big. Oh, I need fuel tank, not an engine. That's what I need. Something simple. See, that's simple, right? And then we're gonna go to engine, right? And we're basically just gonna recreate. Essentially, I don't think that was the engine they had me choose. But either way, either way, we're just going to uh, give it a shot. Try it again. Try it again. Just keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> Classic business strategy. Yeah, I don't. If it doesn't take off here, I don't know what I'll be doing wrong. Oh, I forgot to add separate separate stages, but that's okay. We'll just do that now. All right, starting. Okay, so that launched. Good. Also forgot to change the atmospheric pressure for the parachute. This is not going to get anywhere. This is going to be way too heavy because I added a larger engine. Does that mean I need to add just more, more engines? I don't think we're going to break 20,000 meters. We're already starting to turn. I'm going to tell it to deploy shoot. Uh, too much? It may have been too much. It's going to fall too quickly. There's also no coupler to decoupler to disengage. Have you seen the insane mods they have? I uh, I have uh, not actually. I know so very little about this game. Oh yeah, they're gonna descend way too quickly. <laughs> they're still gonna die. All right, all right, hold on here. All right, space center. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go. Actually, let's see it crash first. Let's see it go down. Interplanetary colonization mods. That seems very intense. Yep, yeah, still dead. Still dead. All right, let's back to the space center. Try that again. Now, so I'm thinking with the other pieces, there's just too much mass. That's my thought. Not enough thrust. So maybe I'll try. <gasps> Oof! I had indeed, indeed, Mr. Space Emperor Carl. So maybe try larger fuel. Smaller. Wow, way too big. Very long, this one. Um, <laughs> Alright, let's, uh. Huh. Ah. You know. Sometimes. Oh, did that not attach? That didn't appear to attach. Now it's attached. Does it have its own thruster? It looks like it has its own thruster on that one. So, uh, yeah, this parachute probably won't be strong enough. Let alone, I don't know if the thruster is going to be strong enough. Let's try it out. Maybe it's multi-stage. I don't think it would automatically do multi-stage. But let's find out. That'd be neat. 
All right, let's see. All right, stage one. I'll activate engines. Oh yeah, this is uh, that's got a lot of fuel in it, huh? I should do a dis uh, a decoupler on there. And that command module really needs to be detachable. I agree. I agree. They're going to die. There's nothing we could do about them not dying here. Oh, this one's going in hot. But maybe not too hot, because he seems to be still smiling in the uh, in the cockpit. Oh, let me move myself. You guys can't see our little guy at the bottom. So let me move my face just a tad. Oh, I, oh got it. Okay, hold on. Right, I'll do that after. Oh yeah, he's gonna burn up in the he's burning up in on ascent. He's gonna burn up on in this on ascent. Oh yeah, he's gonna die. Then again, we're we're probably gonna maybe leave atmosphere before he dies. <gasps> okay, okay. We're out of fuel. <laughs> and we're still ascending. I think that means we're in space. I don't think there's a way to detach this without... Well... <laughs> yeah, he's just... He's gone to, to his face now. There's a way to see that, isn't there? That's what he sees inside. Oh, that's kind of neat. That's what he sees on the inside. <gasps> oh, yeah. there's He's not coming back home. Uh, how do we change our view? How do I get back to my other view? That should be... Oh, wait. Okay. Okay. Maneuver mode. No. Toggle map. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. So he's... He's here. And this is, his, I guess, his expected trajectory. He's not even going to make it close to the moon. Docking mode. What does that do? Dis display staging. No. No. It's not going to do it. Map. Oh god, I'm stuck in this camera mode. Change my view. I would really like to change my view. Murderer. <laughs> Let's see. Messages, resources, alarm clock, action sets. Let's see. What do we got here? Maneuver tool. That's not going to do it. There's no more stages besides the parachute. I gotta figure out how to get out of here. Oh! I just activated thrusters again, but we don't have any more fuel, so it shouldn't matter. Maneuver tool. Camera, camera. Oh god. Space travel, rocketry aircraft. I don't know how to switch the camera back. Oh, God. It's not intuitive. Let's see how he's looking. You know, he's going to get there. All right. Um, what if we go back to the space center? Because he's... Yeah, he's he's dead. He's We all know he's dead. He's, he's either going off into space forever because uh, there's no drag in space. Or he's going to explode in reentry. So what we should probably do is uh, add some things here that will increase his chances of survival. So we know he went out of uh, our atmosphere too quickly, which is what we don't want. So we should probably add a decoupler. Don't really need a payload. Let's see, where are the decouplers? Coupling. There we go. All right. All right. Perfect. That's going to detach that from that. It's going to be nice. Now, also, what I want to do is probably add more fuel, perhaps, so he gets he can go farther. I don't need a fuel booster. I just need a tank. There we go. How big is that? Way too big. How big is that? Too big, too big. Getting even closer. Not quite. 
We're getting there. Now that's too small. Looking for that Goldilocks zone. There we are. So we're going to do another decoupler. Probably. Definitely. Uh, okay. So. Coupler. This is coupler. This is payload again. Couplers. Couplers. Am I dumb? I feel like I'm dumb. Ah, coupling. Alright, cool. So we're going to do these in separate stages. So, first thing we want... Oh, first get that there. So, stage two, or our first initial stage is going to be the rocket. Then once that goes, we need this to disengage. Oh, okay, okay. Well, hold on. I need to think about this here. Because I don't think this will take fuel from that. I don't believe... Well, it should. But it probably won't. There's a couple of one there. And then there. So that'll be the, and that'll be the last... Put that in the stage there. Alright. Okay. I'm not sure if this will work. We should probably also add some things here. So what we could do is we could just add more fuel. The thruster will remain at the same power. But if we add additional fuel or thrusters on the side, it'll weigh it down more. So maybe do some external some external tanks. Small tank for storing raw materials. Is that what we need? No, we need an external like. Let's see. A baguette external tank. How big is that? So we're just gonna go ahead and Make these go down a bit. It's not gonna really have any rhyme or reason. Thermal shielding. I thought about it, but right now I'm just trying to make sure this guy can get over to the moon first. So there's more fuel on there. Let's give it a. Let's give it the uh, honkiest Maximus. You guys can't see the name, can you? Okay, so I'll just call it H. <laughs> We're gonna launch it. Let's see. Let's give it a try. Let's see if we can get anywhere close to the moon now. All right, so initial launch, activating engines. Now it doesn't look like the solid fuel has. Oh, looks like we are starting to pitch a bit. Trying to stabilize it. It seems like my attempt to stabilize it are working. But my thing is, how do you get the external fuel tank to provide the fuel? I guess is my question. So we definitely increased the weight. Those fuel tanks are might those external tanks might explode. It would it wouldn't it would make any sense for them not to explode. Okay, so that's there. We're gonna go ahead and enable the coupling. Alright, let's check our trajectory. Oh god, try to maneuver it. Oh jeez. I wanna just break it by trying to maneuver. Toggle map. Okay, we are actually <laughs> We are not even nowhere near the moon's trajectory now. What is that? What is that? A, is that a hydrate? And a stretch? Don't mind if I do. 
Oh, I'm gonna stretch too. Hold on. Let's see. Let me change the camera back to. Uh, nope, not staging. There we go. Oh, yeah. This guy's gonna also not make it to the moon. Oh, God, my shoulder blades feel weird today. That's odd. All right. Yeah, we need to get more thrust. So we need a bigger rocket. That's that's what I th I believe. We need a bigger rocket. So we're gonna make some modifications. And just try to so a bigger rocket hopefully will allow us to get more thrust. Now my confusion in the past is actually I should probably figure out how to use these these external fuel things. Because I want to use them first. But that might not be possible with this thing, so I'm just gonna get rid of all of that. However, what's the what's a big fuel well, I don't need a lot of fuel, I guess. Well, no, I do need a lot of fuel. There we go. That'll do it. Alright, now, um... What we could probably use is big engine. Now, we tried big engine before, and big engine was just not getting us off the ground. Hopefully, with as uh, little mass as we have, hopefully up here, it'll be able to do something. So we need a lot of thrust. That gives us three, three thousand seven hundred, or what? I don't, I don't understand. Hold on. I can read the smaller number. I guess four thousand thrust. So we need, that's four thousand thrust. I'm trying to find the thing with the most amount of thrust, which appears to be the rocket we just used. Honk Hello, welcome to the stream. And uh. Welcome. Okay, that has like no thrust whatsoever. What is this, an engine for ants? Yeah, it seems like it would be, wouldn't it? Stationary thrust, huh? For very high performance. What's the difference between stationary thrust and everything else? I don't quite understand. Alright, well, let's just try it with this. Everything else. It's the same, more or less, except for the size of the tank and the and the engine. So, just kind of doing some trial and error here. All right, the first decouple is here. Second decouple is there. Okay, so I don't even have any engine attached to that, so that I don't even know if that matters. Let's see if this just blows us up. Let's find out. Nothing happens. Why does nothing happen? Is it? Oh, because there's no. We have to connect the fuel. I think I understand why we weren't, why nothing was happening. Because we weren't connecting the fuel to the engines. That's what we have to do. I don't know how to do that necessarily, but we're about to find out, aren't we? All right, so, it's gotta be some action here. Reroute. Oh, uh, depart to place. Oof, big oof, I'd say. I would say, Fox King, Fox Cake, thank you for the 25 bits. God, how do I do this? How do I, how do I... Actions, actions? No, no, cargo, crew. Advanced mode, oh god, no. Build, okay, so we need to somehow attach. Because the thing is, this has a lot of fuel in it. Just the engine has really no access to that fuel. So I need to figure out how to do that. How do I do that? Okay, um, hmm. There's gotta be something. Well, that doesn't help, does it? Ugh. Switch editor? Oh. That's interesting. Oh, for, for adding wings and stuff, probably. Hmm. Center of... What is this about? Oh, I got you. Okay, okay. So this needs to take fuel from this. But how do... I only want you. I don't want the whole thing. Get out of there. So 
how do I basically tell it? Take fuel. Okay. Hmm. I don't think the actions menu has anything to do with it, really, does it? Not quite. Crew? Not gonna do anything for us either. Cargo? Well, it doesn't really do anything either. Build, build, payload, coupling. Okay, any more power? Hmm. You want to be famous? Oh, oh, oh! It was a, it was a bot. <gasps> did, did Rusty Timbo, <laughs> Rusty Timbo banned it? There's all sorts of things. Adapter. Adapter. For fuel slashes. Hmm. Electrical. Communication. No, that's communication between us. Science. Doesn't really do much for us, does it? I mean, it'll do stuff for them once we figure out that. simply has to be a way to attach the fuel from one to the other. Hmm. So what have I used before? Because I think I use actual boosters that have fuel things attached to them, because that means they have their own fuel line. So that makes sense. So they have their own fuel line. This one does not. So how does one attach them? That's my question. You are always crushing my dreams. It's true. Tim Tim is very good at that, I, unfortunately. Let's see. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Attach. Attach. So this is Kerbal. Kerbal. Space program. Attach fuel tanks to engine. Joining fuel tanks. All right, how do we do that? How do I do that? What do people say? What do people say? We should be able to stack tanks. If so, the fuel will be drawn from the upper tank first. That separators too. Drain for all tanks that an engine has access to. So top to bottom. Is your small tank unseparated? That's not gonna do it. Uh, hmm. Engines don't connect to fuel tank? Question mark on Reddit. Let's find out if it'll actually work. Okay, except the engines don't connect to the fuel tank. Some parts allow fuel cross feed, others don't. If you want cross feed, you can add fuel lines. A fuel line? Fuel line. Okay, okay, a fuel duct. That seems important. Um, okay, okay, so let's try that. How many do we need, do you think? Just one? Oh, wait, shoot. How can I undo that? Let's just go ahead and, yeah. Do I have to do it this way first so it goes down? I think I gotta do it, I gotta do it the other way. Oh God, oh God, just give me, the, give me that. Let's try that again. All right, so here to here. Yeah, all right, do we need more than one? All right, we're gonna do, we're gonna do three. Because triangles are supposed to be magical, you know how that works. And that's, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Let's see if it actually worked. Oh, I don't have a, I don't have a control module. I detached that. Shit. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. The remote control. It does have a command module. Oh, is this just not attached now? This is too small, probably, to attach. All right. So this, this. That's just going to go into the trash. 
How big is that? Not big enough. Uh, do we have a coupler here? We don't have a coupler. We need a coupler. Coupler, coupler. There's a coupler. Little did Hawk know that it was, in fact, not fine. Exactly. It's about to be not fine. Big old coupler. That's not big enough. I need the biggest coupler. Not the biggest, but this might be too big. I don't know. That might be the size we need. I'm about to find out. Hmm. That seems probably fine. Probably. Um, alright. Then the pods. Okay, we want a decent sized command pod. That looks pretty neat. That looks really neat, actually. Um, can I actually put a parachute on that, though? A little utility on there. Okay, okay. Gonna increase the minimum pressure. Probably to 0.2, I guess. Altitude 1200 meters. Can we launch this bad boy? This guy still has no control, roll control or manned command modules. What? Why, why wouldn't it? So maybe this is still not big enough? Bigger command module. Okay, um, how big do these get? That's a pretty big command module, if I say so myself. Remove the coupler. Can I, can I not remove the coupler? Probably could remove the coupler. Let's see, how do I get you off, specifically? Come on, come on, come on, get off there! Get rid of the one piece. Oh, that's probably what was the causing all the problems, huh? Get off. Will you just Okay. Okay. Are we good now? We're not good now. Are we good now? How... How is this not a man control module? Oh, maybe we need one at the top. Command pod? What is the difference between a cockpit and a command pod? Do I just put this on the end? Control module. It is, it is, it is there. It's there. Why wouldn't it be there? This is the most basic thing ever. Well, let me launch it now. I'm so confused. Because this, this, if we look, well, we can't really look. Um, how about this one? There should be an attachment thing. Yes, yeah, so they should attach. And that is what a command module would do. How about that? Oh, I guess that counted. I guess. Maybe not. I guess we'll find out. I mean, it should have counted for something. I don't have any couplers now, though. Let's first make sure that the fuel lines didn't work. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, okay. All right. Fuel lines didn't work. They did not connect. Uh, so when you attach an engine to it, it won't visibly connect to the tank. Don't need to manually move it so it then touching the tank. Hold on here. Um, hmm. Hmm. Look at fuel tank and provide fuel to any engine directly attached to it. Just be liquid, perhaps? Maybe that's what my problem is? Is that what I'm doing wrong here? Okay, so... Maybe... Maybe it's not liquid? That's technically liquid. 
This is a liquid fuel engine. I'm using. However, am I using a solid fuel? That's what I'm using, right? That's very well what I'm using. New plan, new plan, all right. New plan, we need one that just has liquid for now. Shit, get out of there. All right, all right. New plan. New plan. We're starting from the rocket up. Too small. We tried that one already. Way too small. Let's no no. no. All right, let's try big pod. So big pod and a coupler. Because we're doing a coupler. So that's fine. We also want a parachute. That's a definite. Then we want engines. But a lot of these engines won't work for some reason. Let's see. Maybe we'll just try a giant ass engine underneath with fuel. No, maybe anything bigger? Anything bigger than that? It's a very tiny one. Um, because they don't go that big when they have fuel in them already. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on here. How do I do this properly? what I need. Because that's a pretty massive tank right there. The tank is absolutely airtight. Filled to the brim with rocket fuel. So we got a coupler. Hmm. So it's filled with rocket fuel. Looks an awful lot like it's filled with rocket fuel. Then what we want to do add an engine. Now my brain says use the engine that matches the size at least. And then I need some sort of fuel line. Construct connector, what does this do? Structural beams connected link both ends along for sturdier and heavier construction. Hmm. So Maybe I just had the fuel connectors on wrong, too. That's also a possibility. Because I pointed them downwards towards the engine. Maybe I should point them upwards. Shit. There we go. All right, there's one line. Two line. Oh. And then maybe three lines. I'm just doing it, putting these in haphazardly. All right, so we got. Let's do a fourth one. Why not? Why not? We want to make sure that the fuel gets to the tank. H is already on the launch pad. Clear. We're adding new H. So maybe that's what it was. Instead of going down to the down to the engine, I should go up. Fuck it. We're just gonna launch. We just need to see if this takes off. Not even, not even taken off. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, back to the station here. I gotta be doing something wrong here. Where do I put it? Let's see here. Look and thing here. Da, da, da. You can stick the MK liquid tank to something to the wing, then you can attach the intake and the engine to it. That doesn't tell me anything. Besides something. Hmm. Hmm. So fuel lines. Not doing anything. Hmm. And 
nothing is showing me anything on, online either. So maybe, maybe we're stuck with the engines that already have fuel, potentially, to start off with. So let's start with something like that. So that has fuel already, right? I think. Now maybe I can try attaching fuel to that. A little bigger than that. Looks about the right size. Okay, okay. So, we're doing another basic one, it looks like. It'll be very simple. We just need this to do. We just need it to take off. That's all I want right now is for this to take off. There's no remote control or manual command modules that won't be controllable. And that's what confuses me, too, because what makes this not controllable? Because it's definitely a command module. It is literally a command pod. Let's just launch it anyway. Fuck it. We're just going to launch it into space. Launching it into space. Don't, not even going to try to control it. Just going to launch it. Let's go ahead and uh, give that a good old launch. This does not have a launch option. <laughs> this game's gonna make me cry. Oh my god. Why? 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 Alright, do I. I they're, it's like they're, they're forcing me to do the tutorial. They're gonna force me to do more tutorials. I thought we were smart. I thought I was, I thought I had some of this. All right, intermediate construction. All right, looks like we're doing the intermediate construction section. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me just assemble my vehicle. Yep. Yep. Click on the open button in the top right corner and load the hopper. Open button, open right corner. Load the hopper. Oh, oh, it's already a created. It's already a created thing. Where the hell is the hopper? Hop. What? Where the hell is the hopper? What? It's called Hopper. I can't even do this right. Open. Hopper. Hopper doesn't exist. The Hopper doesn't exist. All right, however, what this allows me to do load dialog and open it again. Okay, alright, we're just gonna, alright, I guess we're gonna make one ourselves. Alright. A parachute on top of it. Next. Uh, we won't be bringing the whole vessel back so we can change our parachute stats from what we used before. Right click on the parachute and verify that its deployment is set as 1000 meters. Also set the minimum pressure slider all the way to the right. 0.75. It's a much shorter time hanging out, hanging around during descent. First off, let's change the name of our craft in the description if you want, so we still have our trash can special for later on. Alright, uh, pee pee poo poo. 
as the name of this is the name of this thing. Great. Mm -hmm. A number of science experiments to be performed, but at the moment we can only have the mystery goo containment unit available. Switch to the science tab to look at it. One of the most basic scientific experiments Kerbal scientists had devised. Cool, cool. Alright, you're gonna want a symmetry. The symmetry button. Where's the symmetry button? Oh, okay, so we're gonna plus place one here. So the balance. Where's the symmetry tool? Ah, there it is. I'll press the X key to cycle through the available symmetry modes. Oh, okay, there we go. X. Near the nose of the pod. Oh god, okay. They're near the nose of the pod. <laughs> Too heavy to survive re-entry. Couplers can be found in the coupling tab. Yes, we want we want decouplers at T D twelve. A liquid this time we're gonna use a liquid propellant. Unlike solid rocket motors, these engines don't carry their own propellants with them. Ah! Yes! Yes. Duplicate that. Okay, okay. Five of these to get us to space. Wow. Fuel tanks. Duplicate with left alt, huh? Hold on. Duplicate that by holding left alt and clicking on the tank. Gotcha. Three, four, oh, shit, five. Let's go over to the engines tab now. The swivel engine you see here is obviously different from the flea. This is a liquid engine and it needs and burns both liquid fuel and oxidizer. Funny enough, that's what we just added to the rocket. Okay. Almost there. Last thing we're going to need to do is give the rocket a little better stability. Add some fins near the bottom of the rocket. Aerodynamics tab. To 4X. Oh, jeez. Okay, 4X. Okay, okay, that's very helpful, too. Alright. Can we actually launch it? Let's give it a shot. Let's launch the pee pee poo poo. See if it actually goes up in the air this time. All right. Give it a good old engine launch. Hmm. To couple. Yeah, it didn't even launch. I'm confused as to how... How... What do they want? It didn't even launch. Is it, is it broken? Engine's not launching. Launching Kerbal Space Program. See, problems with liquid engines. Throttle, hold shift. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's probably been our problem the whole time. Did you throttle up? Is one of the first answers. Alright, so that may have been our problem. Let's try it. Let's friggin' try it, huh? Get some fuel tanks in there. We need something big. I think we chose doing liquid, right? Yeah, we need liquid, liquid fuel tank. What's the one that's chock full of just chock full of stuff already? Yeah, filled the brim. So this, this will do. This is not big enough. All right, so we're gonna try our original concept. Oh, come on. Come on. I can't move. 
Can't even use the mouse wheel. All right. Um, that's fine. All right. We're just going to add a pod. And then get rid of it then. Jesus. All right. There we go. Now, big old fuel tank. Go to the brim. Get some engines in there. So maybe I didn't even need to use the fuel things. All right, so yeah, now we should probably get some wings. Some wings could be nice. A little bit of aerodynamics. Let's go uh, four. No, we'll do three. Three should be more than enough. Oops. Protective nose rocket. No, we're not going to do that. That's way too big. Way, way too big. Good enough for me. All right, so it's a very basic run run down right now. Can we fly it? It launches. All right. Okay. All right. So I activate the engine, throttle up with what was it? Shift. What did they tell me to do here? Hold shift until the throttle marker on left of your navigation ball is at the desired level. Holding control will decrease it. All right, uh, launch. That's what we had to do the whole time. Just shift. Wow, that that's very asymmetrical. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's not going to survive, though. It's already wobbling. I'm trying to correct it. All right, so now we know what was going wrong. Now we have the chance to uh, make something out of this. This is jank. It's fine. It's fine, Mr. Weebo. <laughs> We're just trying to get to the moon. Oh God, I've got, I'm getting too. I'm getting too emotional. It's, I'm gonna lose control if I if I get too emotional. This thing's gonna burn up in the atmosphere. How much fuel does this thing have left? Okay, not not a ton. Oh god, it's, it's it's we're losing control. We've lost control. It's very hot in there, so it's okay. We just lost it at the right moment. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, I've impressed they made it this far. Yes, I am also impressed. All right, let's check the trajectory. Nowhere near the fucking moon, but that's all right. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it. We know how to take off now. We know. We know. We just needed to press shift. Now we just need additional fuel tanks. It's liquid, so we just need additional liquid fuel. I also need to fix the hell out of these. So what I'm gonna do, that, should, that looks way better. Well, not necessarily. It's, it's, it's an improvement as to what it was because it's more symmetrical now. Okay, all right, so we need, what do we need? We need some additional fuel. Maybe we'll pull off some of those, um, all right. Maybe we'll do some of those ones that we can detach. Let's see, how do, how do we, any external, external fuel? I'm looking in the wrong section. Oh, maybe we'll do a little, a little adapter, a little adapter. So maybe, Separate these two real quick. I'm gonna do a smaller, a smaller pod. I want as little weight as possible. But we're gonna need some sort of adapter, coupling adapter. Okay. Okay. How do we how do we have adapter last time? Thermal? Nah, we're not going to worry about that yet. Not yet. Container. Is that towards the top? Was that in here? That may have been yes, adapter. That's <laughs> that's not going to work. Oh, no, that is going to work actually potentially. 
Okay, not oh, not quite yet. Not quite where we want. Wow, what in the world? Why is that? Hold on, I need to fix that. Alright, alright. Okay. We're doing a bit better now. Somewhat. Is there any big adapter? So we need a... Brand adapter. Brand adapt. So they only have... A couple, huh? Does that attach? You know, I don't think that's gonna work out for us. If we can remove the brand adapter. Yeah, that needs to come off. We might have a better shot. Is that wider? I can't tell if that's wider. It looks about the same. You know, okay, what I'll do, we're gonna try that. Hold on. Move the whole shebang. That that didn't work. Hold on. Move you up. Shit. Oh god. Okay. All right. So that looks terrible. It looks awful. But can it fly? I suppose is my next question. Sixteen parachute. We should also get a decoupler because that also has uh, a fuel attachment. So we're going to get some decouplers on there. Because as soon as we lose fuel in the one, we just want to cut it. Coupling. All right. That's way too big. This also has fuel, it looks like. I don't want, I don't want a coupler with fuel. I, I don't... Well, this all looks like it's got some sort of fuel mechanism going on. I need to adjust my angle. Huh. And then zoom is just middle mouse button, and then you really gotta scroll in. Alright, that seems about the right size. Okay, so. Can I attach. Uh, uh, okay, okay, so now we've got a lot less. Uh, what do you call it? A lot less weight, I believe. And a, and a decoupler. So once we actually get out there. Oh, we should also add more engines. More thrusters. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a little bit of thrusting. Some tiny engines. So maybe what we could do is uh, make this. There we go. How does that? How does that look? Not great. Uh, um, we'll make it work. All right. So those engines. We're gonna do a couple stages here. So it's. Add another stage. The first stage is obviously herbal. The first stage that we see anyway is going to be that one. The coupling comes from then. Add a second stage there. Oh god, why did all those things just happen at once? Oh yeah, those are all attached. Yeah, we want all of those to go at once. Okay, so uh, this is going to be all in this stage. And then eventually it'll come down with the parachute. Eventually. The decoupler is where? Here? Yes. Okay. So. No idea if that's going to work. At all. No remote control or man module. I don't understand how that's the case. This is definitely a man module. Launch it anyway, I guess. It should be... All right, can we launch the engines or can we not launch them? But yet we have no way to control it. Hmm. So it said that before, and I don't know why it says that there's no command module. When there's most definitely a command module attached. It's attached to something. <laughs> Get in closer. I know I added this last time. Uh, remote receivers and relay control input from the ground. Okay, so uh, I can't have both. Can't do both. My question is, why does it think 
that there's no command module here. So when I say launch, it says no control. Warning, no control. Warning, no control. Kerbal Space Program. I'm doing a lot of Googling. In the cockpit, man, sometimes the crew won't be assigned automatically. So sometimes we have to assign crew. Ah. Phil. Set. Put a pilot in the Mark III. There's no available crew. There's no available crew! Screenshot. Click the crew tab. You can crew your vessel manually. Recruit them at Astronaut Complex. All right, we're taking this guy. Yeah, it's gonna take a bunch of them. Yeah, that'll be fine. All right, you. Okay, so we just need to assign a guy in there manually. Hi, Sam. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. I'm gonna try to launch this shit. Uh, let's find out. All right, activate engine. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna die. We're doing good on fuel. Doing wonderful on fuel. I might just add another thing of fuel now. That might just be what I do. Just keep adding fuel, just keep propelling myself up farther. But I'm also I might also need to add heat shields. Oh, I'm, I've lost control. I've lost all the control. Now it's just like a... Oh, God. Okay, come on. Can we get regain control? Okay, so if we if we decouple now, this thing is just going to spin off into space. Come on, come on. Slow it down. Okay, all right. We're going to decouple anyway. Decouple. <laughs> oh dear God! Okay, okay. Uh, thrusters, thrusters. Yeah, they're they're dead. That guy is not having a good time in there. Oh my God, Ryan. Okay, let's take a look at the map. Yeah, he's uh, he's not doing too hot. He's not doing too hot at all. Yeah, he's not he's not gonna feel too good about any of this. Yeah, he's gonna die. All right, all right. So, all right, we got, we got, we're, we're making little steps, little baby steps here. Yeah, we're going back to the space center regardless. That guy, just forget he's up there. We, we, he doesn't even know he's up there himself. He's in, he's gone. He's, he's, he's beyond our help. All right. So first off, probably not gonna add that thruster on there. Second. Let's get just two wings instead. More towards the middle. See how that affects it. Um, so we lost control. I don't know if maybe I need four wings, two wings. I had three wings and, you know, I lost control pretty easily. Um, I'm also going to add more fuel, you know. Oh, let's just get more in there. What do you say? Let's just get more... Smack dab that in there. Oh yeah, just just load that shit up. Oh god, why is it doing that now? Why? Why? Where is our where is our pad? Our, 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 up there it is, it's down there. Alright, so that's a shit ton of fuel. Uh, hopefully Hopefully this will stabilize it. Probably won't. We need four. We're definitely going to need four for something like that. Closer to the base. Should hopefully stabilize it. Clear the launch pad. Oh, that's awesome. You recovered the guy. If you make it to the moon, can you, you can finally save the water bears. I heard about that. Yeah, when they accidentally uh, released a bunch of them on the moon. That is just unfortunate. That was... Uh, that. I mean, it could be good. You know, Maybe they'll evolve into giant water bears 
and then uh, they'll we'll meet an alien race eventually when they evolve to like a new kind of of alien an alien water bear. Okay, so we don't want to burn all our fuel, so we're not going to hold shift till we get in the red. Hopefully, that will also prevent us from losing control. Giant water bears will be pog. Have you seen their faces, though? A little creepy. Little creepy water bear faces. They're like they're just like <laughs> just all oh, they just they just drink water. That's all. I don't even know how they survive. It makes no sense. They shouldn't exist. All right, we're we're. Gonna regain a little bit of control here. Try to stay on top of it. We're, we're veering off the side a little bit, but that's okay. It's within, well, within our range, acceptable range. All right. I think we've almost, almost. Almost beat orbit. So I'll make sure we stay within that yellow circle. If we ever have any hopes of reaching the moon. Okay, going to go ahead and decouple. Alright, see that was a much better, much better launch. However, now we don't really have anything to help these guys out, so take a look at the at the map how are we still nowhere near the moon oh these are all sp all of my spacecraft they're they're still flying around even though they've oh no oh no we're going to approach the other spacecraft um um that's not good Where's the other spacecraft? So we're gonna need a crap ton more fuel, aren't we? Can I control this at all? Oh, oh, okay. No, no, hold on. Oh, okay, we're losing control. I'm losing control. It's a lot more difficult without, like, uh... Okay, okay, okay. What did I say yes? Stability assist. Is that, is that the other spacecraft? I think that's the other spacecraft. Let's head towards them. Can we even control which direction we go in? Is that, is that it passing us? Oh yeah, that is it passing us as it crashes back to the ground. He's, he doesn't have much for this much longer in this world but then again neither does I, our other guy so what we could potentially do is try to get a oh wait a minute what is this is this <gasps> is this oh oh there's no projected so we did have enough fuel to just get off the ground. Or uh, to get out of orbit, but now he's he's just kind of gonna be in space now. But the moon, I don't think, is gonna be anywhere near where we're going. Plus, we'd also need some sort of control on our our pod. But he is definitely just kind of just kind of going away now. There's the moon there. He's just kind of floating in space. Is there a way to speed up this up? I bet there's a way to speed this up, isn't there? Maneuver mode. That's not going to help. Docking mode. I bet there's some way to speed up the time. Light action group? What does that mean? Full crew. Oh, time. There we go. How about we do uh, 100 times the time? Oh, oh god. Okay, slow it down. 10 times. Okay, okay. Map. How are we looking? Nowhere near. Okay, okay. We might, we might have a shot at this. 
Unless the moon's moving away from us. The moon doesn't even look like it's moving. Oh yeah, he's he's out of this. He's out of the solar system. Oh god. So what happens if we just increase the speed? Now he's it's it's this is it's just 20 days. This has been a month now. Now it's 40 days. He's he's definitely died from starvation at this point. He's joined our solar system. Yeah, he uh He's not gonna ever survive. All right, let's check up on him. Go back to one one next time. It's been 127 days. He's been floating around in this small container. Uh, let's take a look. How is he? Uh, how do you think he's holding up in there? Is he dead? He might be dead. Oh, he's still he's having a good time. You guys can't really see him. Let me move my camera. He's now part of the collective universe. That he is. Let me move my camera slightly over here. And transition. There we go. There we go. See? Up oh, a little too far probably. But see, there's the little guy in the bottom right hand corner. But there's also nothing here, right? So that that's alright. So yeah, he's uh I mean he's not gonna hit the moon, probably. Not anytime soon. Yeah, he's he's farther than than the moon than everybody on on the planet are. So he's he's dead. He's definitely dead. We need some way to control our pod once we've separated. So we need the main engines to trigger. Now is there like... I'm just trying to think. Like maybe we could do like a multiple stage like thing. Because if we do a coupler with another engine. What would that really do for us, though? What if we just did liquid? Liquid engines attached to the side, just the external, external ones. Let's see, what would they... I wish they would, like, categorize it. I'm not looking for a booster. I'm up oh, fuel tanks, that's why. I'm in the wrong section. External tank, fuel tank, holding tank. Can I make these like bigger? Cause that'd be neat. Propellant tank. Let's see, I need liquid. Just liquid. Okay, so what is this what is what do these hold? Oxidizer and liquid fuel. We need oxidizer and liquid fuel. So this has all of that. So what if I just go ahead and like do this? Does that just like pull it straight from the tank? Oh, why did it go down to four? Wait, are those four? Oh god, those are only four. Can we just give it like all the fuel? thing is just going to be a ticking time bomb. This thing will not be able to... This thing's probably going to explode in on ascent. If... Oh my god, why did it switch to four? It switched to four again. You know what, it's fine. I'm just going gonna, gonna to launch it with this. Let's see if it actually takes fuel from those external canisters, because that would be that'd be extremely helpful. That'd be extremely nice. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, launch it. All right, somehow we are we're pretty stable. Pretty stable. Everything's pretty balanced. Somehow. So I think the yellow circle at the bottom is where I'm supposed to stay in. Space nuke? Yeah, pretty much. That's what it's going to turn into. I 
things. Like, if, once it gets to, like, a certain part where there's so much friction, yeah, those things would totally just ignite. Okay, yeah, so I'm just taking them right out of the canisters. Taking them straight out of the canisters, which is awesome. It allows us to break orbit and still have still have fuel coming out. It's almost time to use that coupler. There we go. All right. Let's look at that map. So technically moon's over here. Now, before I launch, am I supposed to wait for the moon to just get into position? Because if I go... Oh, God. Okay. All right. Yep. There. That was accidental. I want to go back to Earth here. Shoot. Okay. Hold on here. Space Center. So... <laughs> it's crispy, crispy rocket. Crispy, well done rocket. I don't know if I should wait for... Uh, all right, so let's say we just leave the rocket as it is. Let's just just, just not touch the rocket yet. Go to launch. <laughs> Crispy. And then we just see where the moon is relative to us. We just speed up the time. Actually, it's looking pretty close. So, oh, Jesus. Okay, all right. That's a little too fast for my, my, my taste. So we have to like line up the, the moon. Is that what's happening? All right, come on. Are we guys, okay, so the Earth is rotating faster than the moon is obviously. All right, okay, slow it down a bit here. We just need to be relatively on course. Now you can build the world's largest fidget spinner and send it into the sun. Yes, you're you're absolutely right. Okay, a little closer. And slow it way down. So obviously, we just gotta wait for this to just kinda line up a bit with our intended target. Alright, just a little more. Alright, uh let's launch it. Uh, what what happened? Why can't I launch? Like, up? Oh, did I not add anybody? I don't think I had a crew on this one. Damn it! Or maybe they died inside the. <laughs> they could have died inside the rocket. All right, let's try this again. Let's make sure there's a crew on there this time. Yeah, that would be nice. Stupidity. We want. We want stupid because uh, hopefully then, you know, they'll 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 just use their noggin. Oh no, there was one on there. So why didn't it launch? All right. Well, either way, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. We're gonna check the trajectory, see how it looks. That actually is not half bad, but we might want to give it like. Additional time here. Oh, that's right. We spin faster, so hold on. Wait, shit. Okay, hold on here. Hard to really line this up. Okay, come on, come on. It doesn't change instantly either. See, like, I, did, I clicked it off and on for a second. Come on. Let's go. This is like a good speed here, I think. All right. Down to 1x speed. All right. So now what we're going to do is switch to here. It's nighttime. That's all right. We're going to go ahead and do our launch. Let's try it out. 
Let's try it out. Take a look at the map. Can't determine trajectory yet. He's having a good time inside his little his little cockpit. He's having a good time. I feel like all those external ones also slow us down. So I don't know if we even need the external ones, because the other guy still made it to orbit. It just comes down to having enough control of it outside of um, outside of the Earth's gravity. And look how spicy that rocket's becoming. A posture check. Oh, not a bad idea, Mr. Top Shelf 234. Not a bad idea. So I think that yellow dot is where it's supposed to be on the bottom, like, kind of thing there. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Gotta adjust. Slow down the rockets a bit. Okay, where's this is the current trajectory? Oh my god. This might do it. Actually, no, we need to speed it up. Speed it up. Okay, uh, okay, uh, the couple. Up. Oh, okay, we've lost control of it. Oh, jeez. Oh god. <laughs> All right, hold on. Look back at the map. Yeah, we we lost it. We we missed that one. However, if we can learn to control the pod, so I want to do is I want to remove some of the fuel. We don't need all those external fuel things. So let's go back to the space center. Remove the excess fuel off the edges and sides, and then learn somehow to control the module. If we can learn to control the module... Oh, oh. Then we should be in good shape. Alright, so. We need some kind of external rockets to get in on there. Alright, so, um... Some sort of control somehow. I don't know how this works necessarily. I don't think there's a pod on the bottom. There's not. Okay. So we need some sort of additional additional little engine, additional little fuel here. Oh, that's, that's a big one. Way too big. What the hell is that? Drain valve? Love the light of drain most resources from that part that it happens to be attached to. Great for emergencies. Okay, well that seems pretty advanced. I'm not worried about that at the moment. So somehow, we need a little tiny fuel thing. A little external tank. Oh, that's kind of neat. But then can I attach this to this? Sort of. Not really what I'm looking to do there. Um... How do... These are all fuel tanks, right? This is an adapter. Oh, it's integrated fuel tank. So maybe... Maybe... I need somehow to get a rocket out of this thing. Like a little, little controllable engine. That might do it. Maybe something a little bit bigger. Something with integrated fuel would be great. Now, isn't this adapter supposed to basically allow me to keep that inside there, or is that just gonna... Okay, that they just automatically cover that up. That's kind of neat. What if I remove... Let's do that. What if I just remove the adapter? Would that just be terrible, or would it would it just this would this be too much wind resistance? I feel like that'd be too much wind resistance. So this is gonna go back onto here. That can go. Up. That can go here. However, I feel like I can go bigger than with this bottom engine. 
But then I really need to. I don't know if I really need to. Structural, strut connector is not really a problem. Stability, multi point connectors. I could probably get a satellite in orbit. That'd probably be a nice thing to do. That seems like it'd be tough. Science, not really my concern. I just need... Those guys aren't probably ever going to make it back, but... There's an excavator there. How about... Stabilizer, huh? I still need a way to control, so even if I have fuel... I knew there was a sort of... What do they call it? There's a... Um, it does like this pfft, things of air. It does like air burst. Oh, I just type in air. But it comes up there. Air brakes. Not what I'm looking for. Uh, da, 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 da. What do you call it? Stabilizer? Is that a thing? Stable eyes. With an E. Okay, so all those things show up. Oh, oh, there's something. There's the thruster. Okay, so this is what I need. Variable thruster. What we'll, what we'll do, we want to keep it even. Are those... Those all count as something. More towards the base, probably. Hopefully. Hopefully that'll do something. What? I don't quite know. It'll give it some amount of control, perhaps. We'll try it out. We'll see. We'll see where it, what it what it takes us to. Because if anything, if I have if I have control or better control over the mo module, then um, what more could I ask for? Okay, we're gonna have to speed up this time dramatically. Oh, actually no. That might be good. That might be good. Okay, uh, we're gonna try it then. Launching. I know they also have pre-built ones. Maybe we should practice or look at what they have on the pre-built ones at some point. See what they have on there. I can already see the uh, friction causing a lot of problems with that adapter module. That might not survive. Oh, why is fuel coming out of... Ah. Uh, I see I have a problem here. If you look... Oh, well, that's not going to work either. <laughs> yeah, this is not going to work. Because both of the rockets had started. Uh, even the one that's under, under the... Yep, yep, that's... Yep. That was going to happen. However, guy inside still alive. So let's let's try that again. Space Center. I need to change. I need to change. <laughs> no! All right, let's try again. Let's let's let me change how that works. I forgot to change the stages because there's going to be a multi-stage uh, mission here. So this one is not going to be until after the decoupling. So we'll do a decouple, and then we'll use... The, oh, the decoupler is actually... Okay. There needs to be another decoupler then. Um, or, or I can just sort of take this decoupler and move it down past our rocket. I'll do that for now. Just to keep the weight down. Get that decoupler. And move that there. Okay, so now our decoupler is down there. So once the big one runs out of fuel, we detach. Boom. So now it shouldn't take fuel out. It, I don't think it should take the fuel out. We can also change our flag. 
I'm not gonna do that right now. We're gonna do a little bullseye, why not? Let's try it out. Normal control man. Oh, we need to add another crew member. Crew! It's kinda weird that they make you do this on uh, sandbox. But it is what it is. Alright. Clear that launch pad. Let's try again. It's literally just trial and error. That's what I'm trying to find out. I'm not using any sort of math whatsoever. Just kind of eyeballing everything. So what we need to do is just wait a little while until... Okay, okay. So I think now would be a good time to launch. Good, okay, so it's only using the fuel in the primary stage, which is fantastic. So now hopefully we won't see any friction again under our other rocket, because I don't know if that was being caused by the actual rocket being on in an area where it shouldn't have been on. Looks like we're having some slight rocking, some instability, but it doesn't seem to be throwing us too terribly off course. To the moon, baby, to the moon. Definitely seeing some friction now, but as we get higher and higher, there's gonna be less and less resistance. First one's almost out of fuel. We're almost out of Earth's atmosphere. Oh, I need to correct just a little bit of the angle here. Oh, let me go the wrong way. I am going the wrong way. All right, we got it a couple. Oh, we're rotating. All right, I'll try to correct that. I might need some sort of automatic stabilizer. All right, so what we'll try now is secondary rocket. Um, is it not working? Okay, so secondary rocket, totally out of fuel. So a second rocket needs fuel. So we need somehow... So the first rocket, I suppose, should be only to get us into orbit. Second rocket needs additional fuel to get us to where we need to be. A little bit of inversion going on. Oh, hold on, hold on. We can save them. We can save them. Just gotta do some rotation here. Oh god. Okay, hold on. Okay, all right. Okay, automatic stabilization. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna to try to get closer to that, that center point. Shit, come on, there we go. Oh, oh, hold on. Almost. Okay, close enough. All right, so now, if we look at the trajectory, I think we might actually make it to the moon. Are we gonna get back? Hell no. Uh, we're not, but this is the first step. And if you see, our other ship over here is uh, is still is still floating. Now, what we should do probably is speed up the time by 50 times. Do you see that, ladies and gentlemen? We're getting real close. We might be on track. Let's go a little, a little higher. We might just miss it. Yeah, I think we're gonna, this is probably where we'll be. 
Oh, here, the moon preapsis. I don't know what that means. Yeah, I think we've, we've already missed it. However, however, if we do some adjustments, then again, I don't know if this is even going to change our trajectory in any way. Because what we would need is we would need an additional thruster. So first one lets us go up in the air. We detach. We drift. Try to get as close to the moon as possible. And then we use that second thruster to really uh, go in the direction that we're really trying to go into. So it looks like we are probably not getting to the moon there. All right. Okay. That guy totally missed the mark. All right. Let's try then. It's over here, curb and escape. Moon escape. The mun. All right, so what we need to do then, go back to the Space Center. We need to figure out a way to add fuel to that secondary pod. Because if we can get fuel there, then we should be able to control where we're going. So let's try that. Get a little closer. I don't know if these things actually provided any sort of control while in air whatsoever, so we're getting rid of them. All right, so. We need additional fuel. Little fuel pod here somewhere. Fuel tank has to be big enough. Okay, that might do the trick. It's gonna be a little, little awkward. It's definitely gonna be awkward. <laughs> I need something that will like. Oh God, this is not gonna be stable at all. All right, so what I might do then is get more of these things. Or just more wings in general for aerodynamics. Oh, look, it puts them up top. So we'll put them in line with our others down below. That just might do the trick, hopefully. So we're gonna keep these stages going as they are. We have some fuel now in our second engine. Okay, okay. That might do the trick. Um, we would actually need to add a second decoupler, but let's launch. See how close we can get to the moon. See if we can get close enough to use the secondary thrusters to adjust us. We don't want to use the secondary thrusters until we're close enough to the moon. And there's all of our other things. All right, so that we're we're way off trajectory right now. What we'd want to see is kind of speed up a bit. This is like the closest we're going to get in the sense of like time. The 1,000th uh, time. I want to make sure we're, we're quite a bit past it, which is what we want. Okay. All right. So let's try it. So, uh, did, uh, we didn't add it. We didn't add a crew member again. That's what happened. Can we, hold on, let me just double check to make sure that's the case. Yep, it's not going to let me launch. There's no launch that's going to happen. There's no crew members inside of the ship. Which is kind of funny how that sometimes it lets you do that, sometimes it doesn't. And that just happens to be one of the time where times where uh, we don't have a crew member. But if I do it fast enough... We might be able to get somebody in there before we lose our trajectory. Get somebody who's high and stupid, low in courage this time. Let's try it out. All right, so let's try again. So it says somebody was in there, but like when you try to do it sometimes, it's just they're not in there. 
So we'll try it again. Let's we'll see where it takes us. Let's look at the map. How are we looking? We are actually... You know, we're going to go with it. We're going to go with it. And try it I'm launching. Okay. Things are going okay. Things are launching just the way that we'd like. You can already see the moon. Now the moon, as we get closer to it, it seems it's going to kind of move past us pretty fast. But luckily, I mean, in this scenario, we have our we have our additional thruster, and we allowed it to allowed the Earth to spin a little faster this time. So we're we're probably going to be faster than our objective, pretty dramatically. But luckily, we have that other thruster to kind of push us in the right direction. Now my fear is that the additional weight might cause some problems with like extra fuel on the wings. It also looks like, I don't know if that's stability or if that's fuel. It looks like it's stability. So there's some things that look like they're experiencing some issues with the heat. Change that around there. Gonna do the decouple. All right. So hopefully, let's take a look at our trajectory right now. All right. So we're in good shape because the moon is heading this direction. So if we speed things up a bit, I think we're gonna need to go a little to the left. We might still miss our mark, but that's when we can use the other rocket. We'll wait till we get closer. Speed it up just a tad. We're going to slow it down then to 10 times. Let's take a look. We are getting close. We are getting extremely close. Now, uh, I still have fuel in this other thruster, I believe, because I don't think the fuel was touched in the top portion. And it's, yeah, it hasn't even been a day. It's been, what, an hour, 41 minutes since they've left uh, the planet. So I think we're going to be close, but we're still going to miss it. However, oh, what's with that weird trajectory change? Hold on, what was with that weird trajectory change? Okay, I don't know why that is a very... I don't know what that trajectory means, necessarily. But what I feel like doing right now is uh, activating our secondary engine. See where that takes us. Kind of speeding us up a bit. Let's go full thrust. Now the thing about space is that there's no um, there's no drag. Technically, if this is any way accurate, we should can't work faster. Okay, well, ship is under acceleration. We can't go any faster than one times. That's all right. That's all right. Keep the thruster moving. I'm hoping that we have some control. I want to be going just past it. I don't even necessarily see much of a change happening. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe, what is this saying? Is that going to be our trajectory? Okay, so it looks like we're going to slow down our throttle then. See if it changes anyway. Okay, it's moving, it's, yeah, it's moving. So if we increase the throttle, that's what we need then. Okay, so what we're doing is correct. So we need this line to be farther to the left as much as possible. 
They're almost out of fuel, though. Make it go that way just a bit more. Toggle the map. All right, we're out of fuel. We don't have a second decoupling. That's okay. All right, let's speed up the time. <laughs> oh boy. This might be the time where we hit the moon. Gonna slow back down to one times. Uh, we gotta figure out. All right, I'm gonna speed up just a tad more. New plan. Um, now that we've actually, you know, got to the moon, we haven't actually considered where to go from this point. So we don't know how we're going to actually land anything. So we have no landing gear of any kind. We have a parachute, which isn't going to do shit for us. Uh, on the moon. I'm going to adjust this <laughs> so that we can land at least with our engine down. Hear that wonderful, wonderful whimsical music? It looks like we're about to uh, land on the moon. Not really land so much as uh, get killed and crash. Because I can only imagine if we're traveling at what? Oh, this is actually 1x speed. But we're still traveling how many meters per second? We would need an additional rocket. Yeah, we're going to crash. Oh, yeah, they're going to hit hard. Yep, there it is. <laughs> All right. So that was actually <laughs> perfect. So yeah, I, I'm going to consider that as we made it to the moon. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably leave it at this for tonight. So what we can do is in the future, either you know, depending on how many people I have available tomorrow, I might play more of this. I might play a different game. I might play some of the games that we played uh, previously. There's a lot of options, but uh, I think you know now we have a pretty good general idea of where to go with this because we've actually been able to match the moon's trajectory and uh, that's that's important so i think it's a very you know we've gotten there very basically took me two and a half hours to get anywhere near that because i couldn't figure out that i just needed to press shift uh to launch this thing into space but i think that uh yeah i think this will be something we come back to because i want to be able to land on the moon next and then we want to be able to get our guys back home so we're going to need to be able to make like either um some sort of satellite or some sort of oh, catastrophic failure. <laughs> Either a satellite that goes around the planet, or a satellite that you know stays around the moon when our guys land. We're gonna need a multi multiple people in the crew, so it's gonna it's gonna take time to figure out how to accomplish this. But we were luckily our guy, even though he had a catastrophic failure, was able to crash it in just under two hours, which means that he was he was moving, he was rocking, he was going fast. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to that ending screen for you guys. Yeah, so today's stream went on for about two and a half hours. I wanted to kind of give a little bit more because I wasn't able to do anything for, I feel like, the first 45 minutes almost. But uh, I think, yeah, we made some progress. We actually, actually, was there was actually some progression because stuff was actually achieved. But yeah, I, uh, we only achieved crashing onto the moon. So in the future, we'll, we'll do more with this and maybe even try some mods going to different planets and stuff like that. But uh, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, if you want to check me out on any of my social media sites, you can check me out at Honktastic TV on both Twitter and Instagram, or just as Honktastic over on Facebook. You can also check out our new, uh, it's sort of new, it's only been around for I think maybe a week or so, the new Honktastic official Discord server, as well as the Honktastic YouTube channel, which I often upload clips that are older than 60 days. I should say VODs that are older than 60 days. So if you want to get more of that Honktastic fix, you can always check me out there. Uh, but other than that, my streaming schedule is Saturday, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, meaning that tomorrow is Sunday. So I hope to see you guys there. I love you all, and you guys have a great night. Bye-bye, everybody.